In our uncertain nuclear future, the homesteading movement is once again gaining ground as more and more people reject affluence as the goal. If you build the Tower of Babel high enough, surely you will reach heaven. <laughs> so we're building hundred-story buildings in New York and Chicago and Los Angeles, hoping to get to heaven that way. And the last time I was in New York, I went into a building and when the air, when there was an exit on the outside air, the window was locked. You couldn't get air through, you couldn't get sunlight through, you couldn't see out. You were, well, it's just exactly like being in a dungeon. And uh, we were on, I forget, the 28th floor or something like that, hopelessly removed from the earth and all of its contacts. And the only thing you have, the telephone and the electric light, and this utility and that utility for which you pay through the nose. So what do you gain? What's your advantage? Well, two weeks a year or three weeks a year, you go to Maine or you go here or you go there and have a vacation. And then you say, well, back to the slave pen. Back to the slave pen, back to the whip, back to the, to the tyranny of doing things in themselves are really not worth my doing. Now I enjoy cutting this. This is uh, this is waste. This this rejected pea brush is waste. I've been cutting this up this, for an hour this morning. I had a thoroughly good time doing this. I would rather do this than play tennis or golf or anything that you can mention. And I certainly would rather do this than watch television or listen to neighboring gossip about nothing in particular. I had a real, I had a real nice time. Fresh air, sunshine, cost and loss. No, no extra charge. This is the good life. This is a good life. And as far as I'm concerned, I, there isn't anything that you can offer me. If you offer me a, a, a large sum of money and say, here's such and such a sum of money, buy yourself what you want. And my answer is, there's nothing I want. There's nothing I need. My food needs are net, my food need, needs are met. My housing needs are met. My clothing needs are met. My needs for fuel in the winter time are being met in this process. Uh, there isn't anything that we want. The important thing for you is to live a good life yourself, and living a good life, a part of living a good life, is learning to live with other creatures who are also inhabiting the planet at the same time that we are. Not exploiting them, not using them, not uh, uh, overriding them. Not preying on them. Not preying on them, not eating them. Not enslaving them, of course. And not being slaves to them. <laughs>